Welcome or welcome back to the Kia Hyundai channel. My name is Gabby. And my name is Pat. And today... What are we doing? We're so sad. I'm wearing my blue today. Oh, you didn't wear any blue. It is maybe our last video of the Kia Stinger ever. And it's definitely the last model of the Kia Stinger to be produced. So this is the 2023 Kia Stinger tribute. And that's exactly what it is. It's this tribute to the beautiful years of the Kia Stinger. <laughs> yeah, so this is a limited production yep. uh, car. There's a thousand units oh, right uh, globally. Yeah, take a look. <laughs> and uh, there's only a hundred that came into Canada. Yes, and there's and, almost 200 Kia dealerships in Canada. Right. So it's even a blessing that we got this car. Yeah. Right? <laughs> we're so, so excited. So we're going to do a full walk around. We're going to talk about what's exclusive to this trim level and just about the beauty of the Kia Stinger. <laughs> <laughs> As always, this is one of our live videos. We go live every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to catch our next one, we'll show you how to get there. But first, we're going to do a little ad. So we do these videos every day for three reasons. Number one is... <laughs> you may own a, a Kia or Hyundai product, and we just want to add to the value of ownership by showing you everything we know about the cars. Yep. And then number two, you may be considering a new vehicle. We want you to add Kia or Hyundai or both to your selection list. We think these vehicles offer such great value. We love talking about them, and we know you would love to purchase one. And lastly, <laughs> lastly, if you like the product and you live in Ontario and you're going to buy one anyways, why not buy it from us? So we have three stores for our three reasons why we do these videos. Number one is Brantford Kia, where we film every day, the Brantford Kia studio. But we also have Brantford Hyundai, which is about 10 minutes down the road, and Owen Sound Hyundai. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's show them how they can join our live series Perfect. if they're watching in the future. So if you are watching from the future, let me know how it is. Are there lots of Kia Stingers out there? <laughs> but what you want to do is go to the Kia Hyundai channel on YouTube. If you're already watching one of our videos, you found us, why not subscribe while you're here? We're almost at 100,000. And then under either the home tab or our live tab, you'll see today's video under upcoming. All you got to do is click on it. It will load you in. And you'll see we have our main video here. Usually there's an ad. But on the right is what makes this video vehicle, oh my gosh, what makes these videos extra, extra special. And that is we have a live chat box where you guys can ask us questions, say hello, comment how sad you are about the Kia Stinger leaving us, and just, yeah, just say hello. <laughs> but we'll get into the walk around right now. So as always, we got that beautiful Coke bottle silhouette, that stunning, stunning classic style that was first debuted on the Kia Stinger. But let's get into what's new. So first off is this paint color. We've had a couple grays, but this is called Moonscape Gray Matte. It's a fully matte paint, and that's not exactly super, super new for Kia Canada. We have had that on the Kia EV6 and the Kia Sportage. Requires a little bit extra care, but oh my gosh, it is so stunning and will really make this vehicle stand out. On the front of the vehicle, we have our classic dark chrome finish all throughout the front grille. We still have a majority, not a majority, all of our safety systems that were in the previous Kia Stinger models. So that includes our forward collision avoidance plate as well as a full 360 camera. So if you look very, very closely, you'll see your front camera up there and your radar plate. This vehicle offers forward collision avoidance and smart cruise control that will take you all the way up to complete stop. So not only is this vehicle stylish, powerful, it is also very, very smart and very, very safe. All right, I'm gonna open up the hood for you guys because that's what we're really here for. So the Stinger GT Tribute Gran Turismo in this vehicle, like I said, it's got power. It's a 3.3 liter twin turbo V6 GDI engine with 368 horsepower and 376 pound feet of torque. It also has an eight speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters and all wheel drive. It is so much fun to drive guys. I know in the States, you also get a rear wheel drive version. We don't get that here in Canada. So we've always had all wheel drive here. Oh my gosh, Pat, you've driven it. Do you love it? Oh, it's it's such a joy to drive. It, it is. is one of those great cars that it's quick, but it's comfortable. Yep. And in true GT form. Absolutely. There you go. <laughs> so we'll close this up real quick so you guys can get a full look at the style of this vehicle. Look at, oh, it's so beautiful. So I think this uh, I matte gotta say, paint. I yeah, I love the paint. It looks so good. Um, we still have our beautiful LEDs. So cool thing about these LEDs, if you're getting the Stinger GT Elite or above, you do have dynamic adaptive LED lights. So they will move with you. And they're super, super sharp, super bright. Pat's literally stepping out of the video bay to get the full shot. That's how committed he is to the bit. <laughs> And now for our wheels, this is new for this uh, Tribute Edition. So these are 19 inch machine finished alloy wheels in a glossy black finish. And another thing that's new, instead of our classic red Brembo brake calipers, now we have black with red Brembo lettering. So not a huge change, but still. 
adds to the styling. There's a lot of dark meets light aspects going on. Look at the it's opposites unite. Yeah, opposites unite. You got it. Another thing that they changed is um, we now have black mirror covers. So it used to be this dark chrome that's all throughout the vehicle. Now it's all black. Still looks amazing. Ties in with the wheels. And then right underneath, we have our blind view camera. So that's used in your 360 camera, but also whenever you indicate a turn or go to change lanes on the highway, it's gonna give you a live camera feed of whatever is in your blind spot. I absolutely love it. Another bonus for that is parallel parking. You don't wanna scuff these beautiful wheels. You can see exactly where your wheels will line up with the curb beside you. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the sunroof's open. You got your little bug net in the front. What Looks the, really good. What type of tires are they? Uh, they're Michelin Pilot Sport 4s. Yeah, okay. that's <laughs> what I thought. So performance tires, we definitely recommend um, winter tires if you are buying this vehicle and driving it in Canada. Uh, we have done quite a few winter tire packages with alloys or even with steel wheels if that's more your style. Now for the back, classic Stinger badge on the left, Kia logo in the center, and then our GT badge right over here. Same GT badge that is on the EV6 GT, which will in a sense replace the Kia Stinger for a performance vehicle. And if you're not too familiar with the Kia Stinger, this surprises a lot of people. So it's kind of a hatchback, kind of not. It's definitely a sports sedan, but you have so much room here. It opens at a complete hatch. This cargo cover is removable if you'd like the extra space. And then underneath our floorboard, we actually have a spare tire in this vehicle. So it's underneath this too. Hold on. There we go. So spare tire and then all your tools to change it. Space-wise, I mean, there's so much room here. All those seats have car seat anchors as well. So if you do have a family or you got kids, I mean, it is a family vehicle if you think about it. A very fun family vehicle. Now we'll close that up. Beautiful exhaust sound. Now, whenever I try to show what the exhaust sounds like on our live videos, oh my gosh, the beeping. There we go. <laughs> uh, it absolutely butchers it. You guys have to see one for yourself. It sounds so nice. And then also, if you're in eco mode versus sport mode, that's also gonna change the noise the vehicle gives off. So it can be a little bit more calm and collected, a nice family car, comfort car, in eco mode or comfort mode. And then you crank it into sport or custom, and oh my gosh, it's a true beast. Yeah, I would only drive it in sport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it feels wrong to drive it in any other mode. However, even in sport mode, it's still, it's not too stiff, so it's still a very, very comfortable ride. I'll have Pat join me on my driver's side over here. And I'm gonna show you something that's very, very cool. <laughs> so before I hop in, the door sill on the driver's side features Stinger Tribute and then the actual production number. So this is number 467 out of 1,000 made. And out of the Canadian models, like I mentioned, there's only 100 coming to Canada. So this is gonna be a very, very happy customer. <laughs> also for interior, we have terracotta brown leather seats. So we'll have Pat get in there again. And with a focus on our headrest, we have a new emblem and it is a wasp or hornet of some sort. It ties into the Stinger name. <laughs> so very, very cool. When we first got the uh, media images released, we couldn't really tell what it was. So now that we actually get to take a look at it, I think it looks so good. All right. Let's just turn the climate control off so there's no fan noise. Uh, seat wise, still got the same comfort in space as the regular Kia Stinger. Um, some highlights that you may have not known if you're not too familiar with this vehicle. 12 way power driver seat and 12 way power passenger seat. But for the driver, you also get air cell lumbar support and active bolstering. So when you switch this vehicle into sport mode, you'll feel it squeeze you in. So you're planted in the vehicle. You can also manually adjust it yourself if you always like that feel whatever works best for you, but it's very, very stiff. Oh my gosh. It's so fun just switching into sport, getting that extra power and then being held into your car. It's like you're ready for the track. All right, enough about that. <laughs> Let's look at some more styling aspects. So you can see the terracotta brown continues onto the door sill, the door sill, the door of the vehicle. But we also get this matte carbon fiber trim all throughout. So this is brand new for the Kia Stinger, exclusive to the Tribute. We still get our beautiful Harman Kardon sound system. The speakers look phenomenal, but they even sound even better. It's so, so good on this vehicle. And then memory seats for your driver. So two different settings right over here. Your windows are all express up and down windows with pinch protection. So if it senses an obstacle like a finger or um, your pet's tail, it will bounce back down. So you don't have to worry about that. Now on the left side over here, we have some safety and just general features. So we got our brightness adjustment there our lane keep assist, our fuel door, and our power lift gate. 
right up above, you can see our vents. And then we have our semi-digital gauge cluster over here. So in the center, you get seven inches. I think seven inches from the top is what they meant. But that is actually going to display your live camera feed. So let me start this up real quick to show you what I'm talking about. Woo, noisy. So there you go. That's our blind spot camera on both sides. It's loud, eh? <laughs> And you can see once I turned the vehicle off, it moved my seat back and it also lifted up my steering wheel. So you do have a power adjustable steering wheel on this vehicle, which is quite nice, always. And then I think I mentioned when I spoke about our transmission earlier, but you do have paddle shifters. So on the fly shifting, because you'll notice this vehicle does not have a regular transmission st stock <laughs> like the rest of our vehicles. So on most of ours, you can hit the brake, put into drive and then tip it over to the left and then manually or Tiptronic Audi calls it, and then you can upshift or downshift. You can only do it with the paddle shifters on the Stinger, so that's new. Um, on the very bottom here, we have a flat bottom steering wheel that is heated and leather wrapped, and if you look very, very closely, there's brown stitching throughout the steering wheel as well. Pretty cool. So everything ties in super, super nicely on this vehicle. Now, Pat, if you want to join me in the passenger side, we can talk about everything else. Oh, maybe I'll unlock it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. All right. All right, let me just get in. <laughs> nice and comfy. All right, this is a true driver vehicle. I have so much going on up here. There's a lot of tech, a lot of safety, a lot of comfort, and a lot of sport. We'll focus in on the main screen first. So this is a 10 and a quarter inch display with built-in navigation in Sirius XM. This is what your home screen's gonna look like, but if we slide over, we have so many menus, so much to talk about. I'll quickly show you our map. It is super, super nice to look at while driving, but of course it also functions as your navigation. So you can put in addresses or even look up your point of interest, closest gas station, closest hotel, whatever you may need. We also have our phone, of course, phone projection. So for phone projection, you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in this vehicle. It is wired, but let me tell you, the connection is so much stronger when you use wired CarPlay. There will be no phone drops. Your music quality will sound fantastic, which is what you'd really want, especially with the sound system. It is so great. <laughs> but we'll go under setup right over here, and then we'll go under our vehicle category. This is where you can play around with some of your driver assistance features, as well as your heads up display, your active sound design, even your ambient lighting. This vehicle does have it super hard to see during the day, but here you can see, we, let's go to driver convenience, for example. So once we press this, we can turn on things like highway drive assist. It will also automatically change the speed. If you're on a highway that has a speed limit change, you can turn that off if you're not a fan of that, of course. Also under warning timings, if you find it's giving you forward collision avoidance warnings way too early, you can set it to late or change it the other way. Warning methods, forward safety, so you're for forward collision avoidance, you can turn it off completely or have it just provide a warning for you. This vehicle does have lane departure warning, but it also has a steering assistance. So those can work together or you can turn them off completely. If you're not a fan of whenever it beeps at you, if you're about to cross over your lane, you can have it just gently assist you. So it's not gonna constantly beep at you. It is so, so nice how you can play around with all these safety settings, turn them all off if you want, turn some of them on. And if you ever change your mind, you can go back and change it again. <laughs> now I'll show you guys some of the Stinger special, special, um, custom modes. So under drive mode, you can go to custom and then you can set it to do exactly what you'd like. So if you want your all wheel drive on comfort, you can do that and have everything else set to sport. You can also put things on the flip side in eco mode. So if you want a true efficient way to drive, why are you getting a stinger? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but you can really play around with it and make this vehicle completely yours. Another thing I, um, noticed when I was playing around with this vehicle earlier, it has a coasting guide. So it'll decouple the engine from the transmission during vehicle coasting to provide better fuel economy in eco driving mode. I totally did not just read that off the screen, but it does have a coasting guide, which is common on a lot of our PHEV or hybrid vehicles. It's really nice that they added it into this vehicle because of course it's not our most fuel efficient car to drive. Do you think you can flat tow it? This, no, I don't think even so. Even with coasting? With the coast, I don't know. I don't think so. Anyways, we'll, we'll we can come try back to, to figure that. that out. We're not going to test it. If our customer who bought this vehicle is watching this, we're not going to test it on your car. All right, active sound design. So this feature is quite cool. It can give a little bit of virtual or artificial noise into the cabin through the speakers um, if you want a little bit more engine rumble or if you're 
blasting some music, you might still want to hear your engine, right? I like this on. <laughs> you will still, of course, hear it from your actual exhaust. Um, it is quite noisy, not too, too crazy. But if you don't like it, you can always turn it off or make it a smaller change, moderate change. Heads up display is something that's super, super um, useful in the Kia Stinger, especially if you are doing a little bit more spirited driving with it. Um, I'm going to quickly grab the camera from Pat and show you guys. It's in a little bit of a weird spot right now, but hopefully we can zoom in and show you. So you can see our speed projected right up there, as well as our car and two little lanes. So that's going to show us where we're at in our lane, of course, and also what speed we're going at. Now, it does a couple extra things. If we were actually on the road, it'll also project the speed limit of whatever road we're on and have my posted speed change colors if we're going over the speed limit. It'll also show you if there's a vehicle in your blind spot, either on the left or right side. So you really don't have to take your eyes off the road. Another thing it does, it does a lot of things. If I had a route set in my navigation, my turn by turn will be displayed right up there. So I don't have to take my eyes off the road at all, meaning I can have whatever I want displayed on the main screen there, whether it be media for my passenger, or whatever it could be. It's really nice. All right, what else can I show you guys? Ambient lighting maybe? So under our ambient light menu, here's where you can change the color. Right now it's called Golden Insight and I don't think you guys can really see it. Um, there's a little section here where I can show it but it might not pick up on the camera too well so do you see that right over there that's your ambient lighting trust me it is much more impressive at nighttime and you can really make it yours by setting it to whatever color you want and then let's amp up the brightness too so here's some of the presets that kia gives you and then if we go to set custom color we get an entire color wheel to choose from let's do a nice red there we go now you can pick it up a bit looks so so good all right, if you're not a fan of that, you can actually turn off completely too. I should also mention that. Um, a couple other cool features like the high beam assist. So this vehicle, once you turn your high beam assist on, it'll pick up if another vehicle is coming on the opposing lane as you and shut off your high beams until you pass or until you get into the city where there's enough light around you that you don't need your high beams anymore. I'll quickly show you guys some of our main cluster settings that are exclusive to the Kia Stinger. So let's get this to focus, there you go. So you can check out your gauges, oil temperature, turbo, you can also see your regular drive info, so your fuel efficiency, your navigation, your lane settings, attention level, as well as your digital speed, and back to here. <laughs> now there's another great feature in this vehicle that we can't necessarily show you today, but that is launch control. So if you wanna have a lot of fun with this vehicle, we've done a video on it in the past, absolutely we have. We've even done driving the Kia Stinger in the snow, but we're not gonna do this one. <laughs> Um, you can put this vehicle to launch control and absolutely rip it. There's no cool down time either, which is quite fun. Don't do it too much, but if you want to show off, impress your friends, it's a lot of fun. All right, now let's open this up. You can see we got our 12 volt over there, a USB for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and then also a wireless phone charger. Something they never change is how high this is, so it, depending on what case you have, it might be a bit of a tight fit, but I think it would work for most phones. Gear shift here our matte carbon fiber all throughout. I absolutely love this. I think I like it way more than the regular aluminum finish. Pat, what's your thoughts? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I, and then, I really like the interior. They oh, did a really good job on this. It looks so good. Yeah. I know the leather color is not picking up the way it truly is on camera because I was taking photos of this all day. It does not look the same. You guys have to see it for yourself. It looks so good. Um, I'll show you guys the key as well. So it's our regular smart key. We got remote start built onto the key fob and also your lock, unlock, power lift gate, and panic button. You get two sets of keys, of course. Only a brand for Kia. Just kidding, standard practice. All right, <laughs> our leather seats are not only fashionable, they are functional, so we get them heated and ventilated here in Canada. Three different levels for driver and passenger. Heated steering wheel, a full 360 view camera that I can pop up whenever I'd like. You see it right over there. I was wondering why the fan came on. I realized it left my ventilated seat on. You can also change the view. So these are our side view cameras, our rear view, and then I like to call this the hitch camera. I don't think you'll be towing with this vehicle, but if you got to back it up right against a wall, this is a great view to have. To the right of that, we have an amazing fuel saving safety, not safety, just feature. And this is our auto stop and start. So this is gonna shut off your engine when you come to a complete stop, whether it be at a busy intersection, stop and go traffic. It'll still leave your media and everything else on so it doesn't feel like your vehicle just completely died on the road. And then we have our passenger controls. Before we hop in the back, I'll show you what's right above our heads. And that is our beautiful and extra wide sunroof. So 
much, much bigger than the regular sunroofs you'd get in a sedan type vehicle. Very wide, pretty long. And then of course, like I mentioned earlier, you have this bug net as well. Now, if you don't like this open completely, you can have it set to just tilt, which I will say, having a sunroof tilted gives it a nice stance to it from an outside perspective. And it gives you a little bit of fresh air. You can barely tell it's open. Not too noisy this way either. One thing they did remove is the uh, sunglass, sunglass holder. holder. Guys, not even for the last year, what? <laughs> All right, now we'll hop into the back and I'll show you guys what's in the back seats. All right. So, this is what it'd be like sitting behind me as a driver. So I'm five foot three, maybe five foot four today, heels for reference. The backs of the seats have this uh, plastic material, so super easy to wipe down, and you also get these mesh nets. Super, super comfy rear seats over here. I will say they have a nice recline to them, so you're not too, too upright. Um, and you have a good amount of space from the passenger beside you. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's, I mean, I'm not super wide, but there's a lot of seat around me. There's a really, really good amount of seat. And then both of your main rear seats are heated for two different levels. You also get Harman Kardon sound system in the back as well. So whatever music you're listening to, your rear passengers will also enjoy it. Now in the very back, we do have some sort of climate control, which is so, so nice. You can see on our dials here, we have temperature control. So both cold air and hot air, as well as actual fan direction control and airflow. We also have a 12 volt and a USB for charging and just device connectivity in the back. And then in the very center, our middle seat also pops down to be either a cup holder or an armrest. I will say this isn't our most comfortable vehicle for backseat passengers. It is still a sedan, but there is a good amount of room over here. I think the only downside for the back seats on the Kia Stinger is right over here. So because it's all wheel drive, we have a pretty high hump right here for your middle seat passenger. As long as um, who's ever sitting on the left or right side don't mind if you share some leg room with them, it can totally work. But yeah, sitting like this might not work for a lot of people. All right. I will hop out of here now. They're asking if I would fit, so I'll sit in the yeah. back. Yeah, you'd fit. Okay, so for those of you who watch, you know that I'm about six foot two. Mm -hmm. This seat is fairly far back, but yeah, I fit. Um, there's about maybe like five inches above my head. I'm going to get really close to you for a second. Okay. It's hard to tell because the headliner is yeah, so dark. Because the headliner is so dark. But it definitely sits low. Yes. So, you know, it's a bit of a shift from driving an SUV. Mm -hmm. Check that out, guys. The dark chrome garnishes. We've had that on the Stinger for a while now, but I think with this matte paint, it just looks so, so good. And I don't know if there's been any questions about matte paint care, but we've done a video on that. That's right, we have. <laughs> so it is definitely a little bit more work to have matte paints. Um, Kia sells a matte paint specialized soap because you do have to use a soap that's meant for matte paint. Obviously nothing with glossy finishes because that will defeat the whole purpose of anything matte and no abrasive materials either. Uh, Pat, you got matte PPF on your EV6. Yeah, I did. So you can get a, a clear like plastic that goes over the hood mm -hmm. so that it protects it against um, stone chips because it's not like it's easy to paint if you get a blemish. Mm -hmm. Okay, should we take some questions? Yeah. Um, I actually saw one that I was talking to you about earlier today. So, where, where did it go? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> um, I completely lost it. Oh, there is one for sale at Edmonton, Edmonton Kia for 72000 72000 Yeah. What is the MSRP? 56495 Yeah. That is insane. That is absolutely nuts. Don't pay that, guys. It's it's very sad. <laughs> um, very, very sad. You know, there are some dealers that, you know, are trying to maximize profit and they're mm -hmm. charging over list for product and don't pay it. It's yeah. Not, yeah. Um, is the interior darker or lighter than it's picked up on cameras? So from what I realized when I was taking photos earlier, I don't know exactly how it picked up on our live because I can't watch it. Um, I, it was looking a lot lighter on camera. 
for me. It was also looking a little bit ready, and it's not it's not red. Like mm -hmm. it's it's definitely more of a taupe. It's <laughs> uh, it's a great color. Um, you smell great today, Pat. What fragrance are you wearing? <laughs> Well, do people want to know? Uh, um, head and shoulders. Oh, <laughs> I, oh, guys, he no. <laughs> oh my goodness, um, that is so funny. Can I get a company discount if we start dating Gabby? <laughs> I don't know if my boyfriend would love that, but <laughs> no. <laughs> um, shout out to Bannister Kia, great people there. I'm not sure where Bannister Kia is, but that's great. Maybe. I'm glad that. Uh, I'm um, glad that there's a good. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, for like we said, there's only 100 of these coming into Canada, mm -hmm. and so they're, they're, this, this specific car is going to be hard to get your hands on. Yeah. It's one of those things, and bluntly, if, uh, if we hadn't have already had a deposit on it, I probably would have kept it, but someone beat me to it. Mm -hmm. How rare are the orange Kia Stingers that only came out in 2021 in Canada? Well. 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 <laughs> We have one here for service. I think Let's we have see. two customers with orange stingers. I swear I've seen two at the same time. That's the orange right there, if anybody wants to see it. And uh, yeah, they're pretty rare. There's, there's not that many of them in Canada. Um, let's see. Bannister Kia is a Hyundai and Kia dealer station in Chilliwack, British Columbia. Oh, okay. That's probably why we haven't necessarily heard of them. A little far away. Um, someone said, Pat, joyride or what? I don't think our customer would love that. If, <laughs> if it we... wasn't sold, absolutely. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's so hard when we get performance cars and they're yeah. all sold. All we want to do is drive them for you guys, but yeah, we, we and won't do this that. is one of the, you know, just fantastic cars to drive. Yeah. Well, Mark's asking what's the zero to 60. And if I remember correctly, it's like 5.6 seconds. Yeah. It's around there. What did you, what did you come up with? Um, so it's not as quick as the uh, EV6, EV6, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, 4.6. Mm -hmm. That's, um, yeah. Let's see, is this the only one you're going to get, asked Ian? Most, I think so. Almost, for sure. We were working to get a second one because we have another buyer mm -hmm. uh, for it, but uh, um, it, it's kind of, I think what they decided to do is if someone has one and it's not sold that, uh, they can pass on it, but everybody wants, every, yeah. every dealer's gonna take the car. Um, so. Ryan DuPont, so he um, reached out to us because he worked with us in the past for a Stinger on the Track video. Oh yeah, yeah. right, yeah. <laughs> he said, take it from me, this car moves. Yeah. It moves, it definitely yeah. moves. <laughs> it, it's a pleasure to drive though, because you have yeah. all of the great features of you know, new technology, mm -hmm. you know, all the driver assist stuff, but it's fast and it's yeah. fast and it's comfortable. It's really like comfortable. It's, it's so comfortable. It's easy to put golf clubs in the back because it's a hatchback. Yeah. Like, we're going to miss this car. This came out in 2018 mm -hmm. and I drove the first one for so a while nice. and really enjoy it. So I, I, for about two years, I drove a Stinger mm -hmm. and it, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, is that the 2023 Kia Stinger Tribute is the last Stinger? Yes. Um, I have a 2021 K5 GT with the GT1 package. I love it. The stingers are amazing. So I love the K5 GT2. Something about Kia's performance sedans, they're perfect. Yeah. They're so fun. They, they've, so done much a, fun. they've done a really good job. Um, uh, Shridhar Kays says, has anyone seen the EV6 GT given tribute to the stinger yet? Pat was just watching it. I was it. just <laughs> watching it before the video and I'm like, okay, this is a great video. I actually saw him wiping tears before, <laughs> go, before we got on live. He's like, Gabby, it's just, it's too much. It, oh. It's a sad, sad day guys. But that video is seriously awesome. Yeah. So good. We could do our own. I don't, I don't think it'd be that good. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, our gimbal, I, yeah, no, it's not going to work. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Also, your Tokyo Disneyland gifts will be here in two weeks. What? Us? Tokyo Disneyland gifts? Japan Quake says he's in Brantford. Oh. <laughs> Come by. Is he? Oh my That's goodness, yeah. yeah. Um, Come visit. Why did you guys stop posting on TikTok? First world problems. So me and Charlotte love doing TikToks together, but she's on mat leave, so I lost my TikTok buddy. That's, unless you want to do TikToks, but. What's TikTok? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what TikTok is. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
how rare is the orange stinger in Canada? It was only out for one year. So we we just showed um, the one that we have here for service. I think it wasn't that rare, right? No, it was. There wasn't it was, a lot. It was rare, there but not too There wasn't a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this time last year, we got the Kia Stinger Scorpion Edition, which was another special edition stinger. Yeah. And we got more of those than we thought we would, for sure. Yeah. The difference, though, is that this this is a numbered car, and so it's, you know, it's mm -hmm. legit a collector. Yeah. Oh, I think our customer is actually on our live right yeah, now. Yeah, that's Mark. Yeah. Um, it's been a while since I've no, been about, on. No, above that. Oh, okay. Like, like our Jeremy. Stinger customer. Pretty sure oh, that's really? who bought the Stinger, yeah. Okay. Um, Mark's asking about EV6s <laughs> and uh, how quickly they're coming. It, mm -hmm. It's been a little slower the last two months, but yeah. we're definitely getting some every single month which means that, you know, hopefully your wait time is decreasing, Mark. Mm -hmm. um, so he said, I emailed the day the tribute was announced and had a deposit down for a regular stinger before that. Yeah, he's our, he's our customer. Well, congratulations, oh, yeah. everyone wants your car. Yeah. <laughs> um, one of our sales consultants, he's driving a 2022 Kia Stinger right now, and he saw this and he's like, can I be like fourth on the list, fifth on the list? <laughs> for however many people are waiting, he wants to be on the list. Oh, wow. Me too. I'll be fifth. Um. Alan, why do EV manufacturers prioritize vehicles for China over North America and Europe? I'm not sure that they do. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, Kia has not done that well recently in, in China, and that was kind of a political thing. It was uh, a uh, South Korea, North Korea missile system thing, and so there was a bit of a backlash against Kia. And so I would say that Europe probably gets more EVs. You can probably prioritize Europe. And then uh, North America, we're seeing the adoption happening. So, so um, one of our viewers asked if we can start the car. OK. Um, hey guys, I, trust me, it sounds way better in person. Watching this and uh, re-watching our videos, it never sounds as good. So we'll remote start it. loud <laughs> it is definitely loud all right let's see is there any possibility for the Seltos hybrid I, I think we're gonna get um, uh, that size and, and full EV within mm -hmm. the next two years yep and I wouldn't be surprised if we have hybrid at that point too yeah but it's it's still in development but they you know when when manufacturers do their design plan they plan it out for about 10 years and so you know, this stuff's been in the works for a little while. Oh, first from Puerto Rico asked a great question. He said, question, although there's only a thousand made, do they come in matte and not pat matte paint finishes, clear coated? What would be the other colors available and why, yeah. or and if any? So in the States, you can also get it in Ascot Green, which is what I read, which oh, is another really? beautiful color that was unfortunately discontinued in Canada. I would have said that, I, I mean, in Canada, we're only getting matte. Yeah, we can only get this configuration. So you can only yeah. get the matte with the brown interior. That's it. Interesting. Um, but yeah, in the States, you get Ascot Green, and you can even get the Ascot Green with the brown interior, which we've never had before. But, oh, they can also choose rear wheel drive. Really? Yeah. They get 400 and something, I think, out there okay. for the States, yeah. I mean, that's not that many considering it's only 1,000, yeah. but... Yeah. <laughs> and how big the U.S. is. It's more than us. <laughs> Luis, Pat, have you cut your hair? What? Um, <laughs> yeah, I do from time to time. Sometimes. He usually gets a few of them cut, but... <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, it's, hi, Gabby. It's always nice to see your face on these live videos. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. A lot of people were saying sheesh, very nice uh, for the startup sound. So hopefully yeah. it came out kind of good then. Yeah, hopefully it did. Yeah. Um, what will the average life of the Kia hybrid battery be? If there's any replacement, then how much will it cost? So we've had hybrids since 2011. Um, our first hybrid was the Kia Optima. Mm -hmm. And um, that was where uh, they, they drove a hybrid Optima, something like 12,000 kilometers on five and a half tanks of gas. So. Um, it did really, really well, and they're still on the road. Um, we've never replaced a hybrid battery here. Mm -hmm. So we have replaced some EV batteries under warranty, uh, but we've never uh, replaced a hybrid battery here. So my guess is, I mean, it seems like 10 years is definitely reasonable. And from what I remember, what's the warranty on hybrid battery? Eight years, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, someone asked, what's the horsepower and torque again? So it's 368 horsepower, 376 pound-feet of torque. 
Yep. A couple of limited slip differential. You got your Brembo brakes, sport mode, custom mode, launch control. <laughs> yeah, launch control is really cool. And this is oh. where, you know, you've got your left foot on the brake, yeah. your right foot all the way down on the throttle, and you just take your foot off the brake and you go. Goodbye. See yeah. you. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I, I guess I can say his name. He said he's the owner. Jeremy, when you pull this car out, make sure you do launch control. One yeah. last time for us. We'll, we'll, we'll cry yeah, for we'll you. Video we'll video Jeremy. We'll, we'll show him how to do launch control. That yeah. sounds good. <laughs> You're going to want to do that. Trust me. Oh, absolutely. Um, let's see. Good day, guys. What a lovely car. And then he said, what, want some Bucky's snacks, y'all? I don't know what that is, but sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll legit drop a metric ton of them in front of Bramford Kia. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> um, uh, finally, after asking for two months, you guys watching the tribute video. <laughs> yeah. Well, we finally got it. So yeah. it was, uh, we were just waiting. Yeah. Um, I know you're reviewing the Stinger, but is the Kia K5 a good, reliable car? It's a great car. Yeah. A really great car. Um, that was released in 2021, so we haven't had it for too, too long, but it replaces the uh, Kia Optima, which is our mid-size sedan. Oh my gosh, the styling's fantastic. They added all-wheel drive. Safety features are phenomenal. Still fuel efficient, too. It's a great, great car. Chris is asking, I saw a red car on the other side of uh, the video bay, what you got over there. So that is an 89 yep. Porsche 944. S. And then a Cabriolet. Very nice. This is, um, you guys have seen Tim before, definitely in some of our videos, our uh, general manager's car. Yep. Um, let's see. Are ground, there... Ground clearance on Nito, oh, Nero. Um, oh, I don't have that off the top of my head. I don't remember that off the top of my head. Sorry. Yeah. Um, daughter and son-in-law have ordered a Seltos EX. Ooh, awesome. Oh, thanks, Mark. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, amazing. Um, yep. let's see. Congrats, Jeremy. Hope you guys will be getting another one. Us too. <laughs> uh, go, go. Any plans on a K5 review? Uh, we do have a GT line uh, set to arrive. Yeah. So when that arrives, um, it's a, a red GT line. We'll, we'll go ahead and do a review on that. It's, it's a pretty great car. We yeah. haven't done one in a while because we haven't had a K5 in a while, but this we're excited for. Tom was asking, what was the first vehicle with launch control? For stinger. us, it was a Stinger. Yeah. Yeah. It was our first performance driven car yeah so they tested it on the Nurmering. right they've done a, an arctic test as well too do you remember that mm -hmm. um they put it through so much testing to really make this car perfect uh lots of european influence for sure in the vehicle german influence definitely and oh it's beautiful it, it's just so perfect <laughs> dark agent j can i update my 2023 kia forte panel software so if you have nav in your car where did you then, see that? Oh. Um, you, you definitely can do an update on the NAV. And so if you go to Kia Canada's website and search for uh, NAV update, uh, there is an update there. Yep. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> is a Kia Sportage SX hard to get or Telluride SX Nightshade? Those are American specs. Oh, trims. okay. Yeah. Um, very hard to get in Canada because we don't get those. But That's right. um, I'm not too sure about the states. I know your Sportage SX is the top of the line model, I believe. So we've been having a little bit of issues trying to get those here. Yeah. Um, there could still be a, a bit of shortages out there. And Telluride has been a challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's getting better, mind you, but still a little bit challenging. There are four to five tributes available in Alberta from 62K to 72K. That's Guys, ridiculous. don't pay over less. It's not worth it. It's so hard to find a dealer that isn't over list. I know out there it's it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I it I take exception with it, but that's just my opinion. Um oh Jimmy said, I'm your other customer who has the orange stinger that I bring in for service. You guys are great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that, that's Fantastic. so crazy. Thank, thank you for watching. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say the orange ones aren't too rare here. We our customers come out here with their orange cars. I think yeah. there's two, Yeah. but like, there's not that many in the yeah, province. Yeah, yeah. So. It's definitely rare. Um, what what would be the cost oh. for warranty extension for Kia cars up to, I'm not sure what he's saying. Yeah. Sorry, bud. Johnny, I'm, I'm not sure what you're asking. Mm -hmm. um, I'm waiting for the Kia Stinger GT Twin electric turbocharger all-wheel drive tribute. Mm. 
I think, I think we'll be waiting for a while. <laughs> no official news on that yet. Um, I did see before we went live, people can um, ask us questions or write comments before. And someone asked, do you think they're going to be doing anything like Stinger-esque? Like maybe a hybrid performance car, or electric performance sedan? I haven't seen anything in the plans, but you yeah. never know. Sometimes they bring out um, a concept just to see what uh, what people think and then yeah. they put it into production. Mm -hmm. um, Which, by the way, Kay Canada, if you need thoughts on that, if you want anybody to give like their opinion, I volunteer. <laughs> Vitaly, I bought Forte and got VIN number. They said it's going to be 10 days until I get it. Is it true? Um, if you have the VIN, I'm not sure where you are in the country, but if you have the VIN number, it means it's built and it's coming. Mm -hmm. Um, it, those come from Mexico and they come by rail and that we did have a bit of an interruption maybe three or four weeks ago but that seems to be sorted so my guess is yeah it's probably true it's probably going to be there in 10 days um, Japan Quake said you guys are officially my primary dealer now woo <laughs> <laughs> said my Kia's and Hyundai Ionic 6 will be here in a week oh my goodness awesome we're super excited. Definitely bring them by. We want to see you. And, and you Sridhar, guys. what is the trustworthy dealership in Alberta for Stinger? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I have a couple friends that uh, have dealerships in the Calgary area, but my guess is they may be charging over because mm -hmm. it seems like that's what that market's doing. So um, you're going to probably just have to make some calls and see what they're willing to sell them for. Yeah. Um, where is Olivia? <laughs> Uh, uh, we launched Olivia and then all of a sudden business took off for her and she, uh, she's just been selling cars. Yeah. <laughs> the kid sells 20 cars a month and, you know, she's just rocking it. So we, we said, all right, like maybe you just yeah. need to sell cars. We for still now. have her. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you are looking for a Hyundai, um, she's located at our Brantford Hyundai location. She would love to help you out. And of course, we always have her links in our description. Yeah. Our, our websites. Okay, we've been going for, for 40 oh minutes, goodness. Okay. which is a little over time. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate it when uh, you share these videos. It helps our channel grow. We love mm -hmm. it when you like it. We definitely like subscribers. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. So Ooh. anything you guys can do to help is awesome. Mm -hmm. We're going to have uh, a fun week of cars this week. Yes, and since you're leaving, you said EV6 GT. Yeah. video sure. so that is what they launched in the tribute edition video the final farewell the ev6 gt is like the big brother or the younger brother that's stepping in and taking the stinger's place so we'll we'll get a good video out on that vehicle this week well i guess it'll be posted next week so thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you next time all right have a great day thanks guys <laughs>